And today, I'm going to tell you the story of the wisest king of Israel, King Solomon. Solomon was the second son born to King David's favorite wife, Bathsheba. The Bible depicts Solomon as the wisest king of Israel. Two Psalms, the Book of Proverbs, Kohelet, Song of Songs, and Wisdom are attributed to him. Even Jesus refers to Solomon's wisdom. Though Solomon was a wise man, idol worship, luxury, and pride caused his downfall. At the time of his death, he could not find any meaning in his life. Solomon is a negative model, an example of worldly wisdom and unaccountable authority that led to his despair and destruction. Wow! Please tell us his story, Father. <laughs> yes, Lucy. I was just about to begin. With the help of his mother, Bathsheba, Solomon secured the throne of his father, David. David died soon after, and once he became the king, he eliminated all his enemies one by one. Solomon built a huge and powerful army comprising of thousands of chariots and horsemen. He also had a mighty fleet of hundreds of ships. And one night, when he was sleeping, God spoke to him. Solomon. Huh? Who was that? God? You have found favor with me. You may ask whatever you want. Lord God, grant me a listening heart. Please give me wisdom to rule your people according to your law. I am well pleased with your request. You did not ask for power or prestige. I will make you the wisest man in the world. If you live according to my commandments, your throne will last forever. I will make you rich and powerful. Thank you, God. Thank you. God blessed Solomon with his wishes, and he became quite famous for his knowledge and wisdom across all nations. People came from far off places seeking his help. One day, two women came to his palace carrying a child. How can I help you? Lord, please help us. Lord, this woman stole my child. The child she's carrying is mine. Please help me, my lord. No, my lord. She's lying. This child is mine. My lord, we gave birth on the same day next to each other. But she gave birth to a dead born. And, and when she saw that her child was dead, she took my son and placed her dead child by my side. Please, my lord, please let me have my son back. You? She's lying, my lord. She is a liar. This is my son. It was she who gave birth to a dead child. It is sure that one of you is lying. I'm going to find out who that is. God! A sword! Huh? Your Majesty. Take that child from that woman and cut the baby into two pieces. Let these women have each halves. No! Here, take him. I'm happy even if it's just a half. I won't give her my baby. No! Please stop. No, my lord. Please don't kill my child. I can't watch my son killed. Let my son live with her. Please don't kill him. Please ask the guard to stop. Ha! Huh. Now we know who's the true mother of this child. 
She is his true mother. A mother would always value her child's life more than her own. God, give the child to her and put the other woman in prison. No, please. I'm sorry. Thank you, my lord. Thank you so much. Like this, many people came to Solomon seeking justice and wisdom. Solomon was known as the wisest man in the Middle East. He composed thousands of songs and proverbs. He also began the construction of a grand temple. Excellent craftsmen from the country supervised the construction. He also encouraged writers and they began to write the history of Israel. And a magnificent temple was built in seven years. He founded the schools for politics and law. Scholars from various lands lived at his court. He encouraged discussions among the scholars of law. He also encouraged various science such as botany, zoology and astronomy.